I'm at the house at 1307 Sundance Fall in the Sundance Trails subdivision. I'm going to give you 360 of the neighborhood here. This house is just about two blocks away from the community pool and playground. Let me see if I can do a quick zoom in there. You see the playground right there and to the right of that is going to be the pool and next to that will be the basketball court. So let's take a look here front of this house. This home is also in a cul-de-sac. Subdivision is located just off of 1604 and Petranco Road. So you have easy access to 1604, uh, Lackland Air Force Base going south, Citibank nearby. Um, you got 151 and you can head north towards La Cantera and Six Flags. I'm gonna take a look inside. Uh, we got a two-car garage up here in front with a garage door opener. This is a three bedroom, two bath, single story home. Square footage is roughly 1,636 square feet. Got uh, nice brick work here in the front. Let's give you the layout here as we get in inside here. We got the entry. Um, we got the living room here, got the kitchen, around the corner is, uh, there's going to be the masters and around the corner to the right is going to be the other two bedrooms. We also got a study or optional fourth bedroom. We also got uh, brand new carpets installed here um, about a couple of weeks ago. So this is newly installed, I believe uh, end of November, early December. Nice large living room here. We got the open uh, kitchen eat-in area, so you can put your dining table here. You got a nice open area here. The appliances you see are included. We got the uh, dishwasher, the stove, and the um, fridge. That is, um, again, this house is built in 2008, so these are going to be fairly new appliances. Got the dual sinks there, and it's nice how it opens up to the living room so you're uh, not excluded if you have guests, you can still entertain as you're in the kitchen area. Here we have a pantry. And then to the back there, we've got a nice covered patio here and a fenced yard. So this would be perfect if you want to have some barbecues, uh, entertain. Also, if you have a get together, you, like I said, you have the community uh, playground and pool is just two blocks down, so you can actually walk over there. A nice ceiling fan here in the living room. Okay, right here in the front we got the office. This would be office or your optional uh, fourth bedroom. It doesn't have a closet, so it would be considered an office at, uh, the way it's configured. But it is the size of a regular bedroom if you'd like to uh, use that as another space, a uh, bedroom area. This is officially bedroom number two. Bedroom number one I call the masters. So bedroom number two, nice neutral colors. We got uh, blinds and um, closet space. Here we have the utility area. So you have your washer and dryer hookups. And also you have more uh, space if you want to use this as your extra pantry area. We have this pre-wired for security. Then we have uh, a two-car garage. It, the uh, drywall is finished. All it needs is paint. Uh, you got a garage door opener, and also there you have the the um, there we go. The pipe sticking out. That is pre-plumbed for water softener. 
So you don't have to tear up the wall to hook up a water softener. There's your water heater. Also the good thing about this floor plan is the bedrooms are not like right next to each other. Each door of the bedroom is not next to the next one. They're kind of spaced out. So each room has a little bit more privacy. Here's the hall bath. Get your uh, sink, commode, and your uh, shower tub combination. So this is a pretty good size uh, bathroom. And this will be bedroom number three. Again, we've got that uh, newly installed carpet. And your closet space. And finally we head over to the masters. Again, the masters is at least two or three rooms distance from the other bedrooms. So you have additional privacy here. This is a good size uh, masters. We've got a ceiling fan installed on a remote. Again, the nice neutral colors. And you definitely have room here to fit in a king size bed, put some nightstands, and then put your uh, Maybe your dresser or chest of drawers here in the corner. Here we have a good size walk-in closet. I'd say it's about maybe 13 feet by about uh, five feet across. So nice and deep, got storage and uh, got hangers on both sides. There's your uh, security system. Um, not sure if it's active or not, but it is at least pre-wired, so it should not be that difficult to put in a new system if that one is not on. And then finally we have the master's bathroom. Nice uh, sized bathroom, got dual sinks, your commode, and very nice sized garden tub, great for relaxing, and your stand-up shower. Nice open floor plan, very good use of space. If you'd like more information about this home or like to schedule a showing, you can call me. My name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. And if you're already using a real estate agent, it's set up for easy showing and centralized showing. Thank you.